Well, Jessica, police say they are all hands on deck trying to catch the people responsible for this violent streak, but experts say this is not a problem that will be solved quickly. These are some of the faces Baltimore City Police say are behind a recent outbreak of violence on the streets. One of them, the alleged gunman who fired on a nine year old boy. I'm putting this word on Kevin Pyatt now behind bars, charged with attempted murder. The crime, one of 219 non fatal shootings in the city this year. That's compared to 120 shootings this time last year. The city reeling after one of the most deadly months in decades. 43 people killed in May alone. We're talking about people. These are not numbers. These are human beings who have lost their lives in the streets of Baltimore. Police hunting down suspects have arrested 10 people and have opened warrants on 11 more. But just how difficult is it for the police to go after that many gunmen? It's a daunting task. Public safety expert and former police officer Doug Ward says the recent arrests will ease some fears in the community. I think it is reassuring that the police are showing these successes. The downside of that is that the successes are few and far between. But he says Baltimore didn't get here overnight and the violence won't be solved quickly. This has been a slowly boiling crisis for years. It just reached a tipping point, and that's what we're seeing now. And recovery will take some time. And the police commissioner has requested federal help asking for more agents and more prosecutors here in Baltimore. Live at City Police Headquarters, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. Megan, thank you.